Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we will be doing a fusion. Um, haven't done one of these in a little bit and I'm very excited. And today's challenge, uh, of, as well as fusing the two characters, um, will be to kind of get more dynamic poses because I was looking back at my other drawings and a lot of them are like just standing there. And I'm like, okay, that's boring. So I'm gonna try and get some more like dynamic poses in there, and hopefully that'll be that'll be a good challenge. Um, if those of you who uh, maybe you're just seeing this first video or don't know what my fusion series is, which is totally fair, I don't do it a, like I don't do it a ton. I should do it probably more often, and I have so many more ideas for other series, so I should really like get going. But anyways. Um, my fusion series is I take a character from My Hero Academia and a character from Genshin Impact and I, um, and you'll see I have two, like, wheels. I spin them and it's random. And it gives me one character from My Hero Academia and one character from Genshin. I chose those because I knew, I knew them the best. And also, I think they have the most interesting character designs. Um, Genshin has a really, really detailed, interesting characters. And My Hero Academia, I think, has just kind of like some unique looking characters. Like, they're not all human. Um, and they also have like powers, and I think that's fun to kind of incorporate into the Genshin characters. Um, anyways, that's what this series is about. So yeah, I'm excited. I hope I hope this works because <laughs> um, I have yet to get a um, get a pair that I you know that doesn't work but you know that doesn't mean it won't happen <laughs> anyways let's just get let's go to the wheels okay ah the wheels this is what I'm talking about <laughs> it makes more sense now doesn't it they're actual wheels anyways let's just let's just go for it I'm nervous I, I really would like <gasps> Ooh, 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 this is good. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, Shinso and... Ooh, I'm excited. Mmm, mmm. Oh, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. I... Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm a Razor main, so this is really exciting. Okay. Okay, okay. I think, I think this is gonna be good. I'm really excited. Um, anyways, so now the part of this, this is the part of the video where I disappear for, for you guys, it's like two seconds, but for me it's about ten minutes, and I come up with a very, very rough design because part of this series is showing you guys my process, so it's very rough, it's like literally circles and lines, and I pull up pictures of the two, and I like think about it for a little bit. So it's very, very rough, bare bones, but anyways, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna come up with a design that fuses Shinso and Razor, and I'll be right back. All right, and I am back. <laughs> um, that was so immediate for you guys, but I was really thinking. Um, anyways, I think I have a design, mm, let's hope. So, what I'm thinking, um, these are the characters, by the way. On the left is Shinso from My Hero Academia. He has a superpower that um, basically lets him imitate, well, not really imitate, that's his, that's his little device. Um, but he brainwashes people, so he asks them a question, and then if they answer, they're under his control. Um, which is a really cool uh, superpower, in my opinion. And then the thing around his neck, the mask thing, changes his voice so he can kind of trick people a little better. So like, they, they think that they're responding to like their friend, but in reality it's him and then they get brainwashed. Um, because if you know he's coming, you just don't talk to him, but you know, that's kind of a little trick that uh, definitely works. Won't spoil anything for anyone though. And anyways, on the right is Razor, he's from Genshin Impact, he's a little, he's a, he's a boy who was kind of adopted by wolves, and he has an electro vision, um, for those of you who don't know what that means, basically means he has like lightning electricity powers, um, and yeah, and he is a um, claymore user, which is like a big two-handed sword, which is kind of funny considering how little he is, but I like that. Anyways, these are the characters. The idea, pose idea I had was this. See, totally makes sense, doesn't it? Um, anyways, hopefully this will make like more sense as I continue to like add the details to it, but this is kind of, he's gonna be like squatting 
and um, yeah, it's gonna be like very vigil vigilante. I think that's how you say it. I've only ever read that word. It's gonna be very like vigilante esque. Um, and then also, I'm thinking of keeping this part, so like his bangs and his hood. And I kind of want to keep his his long hair too, um, but I think I'm going to make it purple to include Shinzo. And I'm also going to use these like neck loopy things. I don't really know what to call them. The scarf. It's like a really, really big scarf. I think I'm going to use that. I really like his pants, so I think I'm going to use his pants. I'm just going to put him in regular sneakers though, kind of like Shinzo has. Um, and I definitely want Shinzo's classic um, under eye circles because they're just, I don't know, I just think they're, they're, they're so him. And I too have under eye circles, so I might as well put them into a character, right? Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of all, it's gonna be a pretty simple design. Um, I think I am going to have him <laughs> shirtless, um, because Razor is mostly shirtless, it's kind of hard to see it, but he is actually mostly shirtless under here. Um, and also, I don't want to add too many details of Razor. We're already pretty heavy with the Razor details and not many Shinso details. So I want to just make sure it's a pretty evenly balanced. But, um, yeah, I think this will look good. I might add Shinso's voice changer, um, but I don't know if the pose I picked would really, like, be able to showcase that. So we'll see. But anyways, we'll just get to drawing because that's what we're here for, right? Um, uh, come on. Okay, I'm imagining this is being like almost like an older Razor, like when Razor grows up. Um, I have no idea how old Razor is, but he's definitely not full grown yet. Um, so that's kind of what I'm picturing. Oh, my eraser is really big. That's what I'm picturing when I'm when I'm drawing this. Hope it comes across. Um, Razor's just kind of a human, so and so is Shinso. Both just humans. Uh, last time I did this video, I had- I fused Mina, um, and, um, Shinobu. That was really fun, um, cause Mina's not really totally human. So, that's fun. Um, I feel like he would be, like, slightly smiling, but not really quite too much of a smile. Because, um, I don't know, both of the, these characters are pretty serious. But I like making my characters happy, okay? Noses are really hard. I have been struggling with noses lately. They've never been, like, a big challenge for me, then all of a sudden, lately, I've just been, like, I haven't been able to draw them, like, at all. It's really interesting. Sometimes that happens. If you don't, like, practice, or even, even if you do practice, just sometimes it's just, like, an off day or weak, in my case. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Kind of soft eyebrows. Not too much judgment. I have a lot of drawings of aggressive characters and, and characters that have, like, aggressive facial expressions, so I'm kind of working on making things just softer. Um, let's see. Do that. My pen is very large right now. I'm gonna kind of chill it out a little bit. I sometimes have to adjust the size of my pen depending on the drawing I'm doing for like details and stuff. But I really need to remember like what the size of my pen is usually because then I can put it back to like the default quote unquote. But fun fact, I never remember what it is. So I just am like, I think it's here. <laughs> make him I kind of thought about it and I think he would frown a little bit more I'm sorry but I just think I think both of them are very serious characters okay I can't fuse two serious characters and be and have it like you know be the negative number rule two negatives is a positive I just don't think that is accurate Eyes are so difficult. I wish everyone could have bangs that covered the other eye. That would be so fun. If 
Fun fact, I actually never, never did that trick. I know there's a ton of memes about artists using, like, hair to color the, cover the other eye. I never did that. Um, I don't know why. It wasn't because I was good at drawing eyes or that I liked drawing eyes. I just, I don't know, I just didn't, maybe I didn't think of it. That's very possible. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have him a little bit more like that. I have the new song, um, Paranoia by Heartsteel stuck in my head right now. Um, if you haven't seen that video or listened to it, you really should. It's a very fantastic work of art. Um, I am aware it's for League of Legends. I do not play League of Legends, but I have been listening to that song on repeat. So, sorry if if you're mad at me if, that I don't play League of Legends, but that I have been um, listening to that, but it's really good. <laughs> um, I already see a problem with this. I'm going to put this up a little bit. Drop his shoulder down just a little bit. I, this is why I love digital art, because I can just kind of relocate things and it's not that big of a deal. Traditional art, you put it there, it's there. If it's the wrong place, either work with it or you have to like erase it and redraw it. And I just don't have the kind of patience for that. Um, don't get me wrong, I definitely do a little traditional art. I have a sketchbook um, and I just, I kind of doodle a little bit but like I definitely prefer digital art because I just I'm just not that confident in my art skills that I'm going to be able to put something somewhere and that's the right place um, obviously exhibit a but that's okay I would love to say that that is learned with time but I don't know if it is or like fixed with time, I guess I guess I should say. It might just be something that I'll just always do. Or maybe all artists do that, and they just don't talk about it. I'm gonna have. I'm actually gonna redo this part of his arm because I'm realizing the perspective would be closer to his arm being almost facing front. Not uh, quite as much of a side view as I have it. Kind of like that. I'm gonna have him like on his knuckles. <laughs> hey, how would that look? Hold on, I gotta think about this. I think it would be like His thumb wouldn't be out if that's the case. I, a lot of the times when I'm drawing, I'm like, wait, how would that look? And then I look at myself and I'm like, oh. Okay, what I'm gonna do. There we go. Is that is that natural? I can't tell. The other day, oh my god, this was so embarrassing. I posted, a, I'm not gonna say which one it is. But the other day, I posted a, um, no, it needs to flip. I posted a, it does it? I'm sorry, hold on. I'm about to do this pose. <laughs> um, okay, so the, it's here, opposite. No, that's right, okay. I'm sorry. Anyways, I needed to do that pose really quick. <laughs> I'm glad you guys can't see me. Anyways, I posted a um, drawing and I was like, oh yeah, like I don't love it, but it's fine. Uh, and guess what? <sighs> oh, I did the hands wrong. Like, like the hands were there. There were hands, but they were like facing the wrong direction, like anatomically, they were not correct. And I was like, oh no. Um, and I was so embarrassed. I was like, oh, I just put that on the internet for everyone. And it's wrong. 
Oh god. Anyways, um, not fun. I'm not gonna take it down, um, because, like, I don't know. I don't know if people noticed, but, um, I noticed. And also, it's not, like, I don't know, it didn't get, like, a billion views or anything, so, um, it's fine. But, like, oh, that's, that was so embarrassing. I was, I was, I just can't believe I did that. I was like, this is why. I need to either get in the pose I'm drawing to make sure it works, or like, um, triple check my art, <clears throat> because oh my goodness, it was really embarrassing. Um, it just, it's kind of an easy thing to do, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a very easy thing to do when you're just kind of zoning out and drawing, if you don't think about it too hard. I need to connect those lines. Those lines are not connected at all. <laughs> I'm trying not to hum the song because I feel like I'm gonna get copyrighted. However, it's really, it's really in my, it's in my brain really badly. Wait. Pinky would be out, right? Okay. Just making sure. It's really, it's kind of um, a struggle. It's like dyslexic, but for which hand it is. I don't know what that, if that's a thing, but it is now because that's what I am. off camera, but I was feeling confident today, but maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> it looks a little wonky, but it's not as bad as it could be. I think this needs to connect. It also needs to be like so much bigger. That's another thing I do incorrectly a lot of the time is I make things the wrong size. Like I draw things much smaller than they should be. And you know, with traditional art, it's just kind of a big L for you. And you just gotta redo it. But digital art, on the other hand, has this lovely feature called resizing. And you can select whatever you want and make it bigger or smaller. And it's just the nicest thing ever. <laughs> I kind of hate that. Okay, anyways, I think I'm gonna do that later because I'm spending too much time on this hand. Um, anyways, let's just get this. Oh, I don't know if you saw that, but I just undid my line. That happens sometimes. Procreate has, uh, I use Procreate for context. Procreate has this thing where you tap with two fingers and you can undo what you, like your last brush stroke, which is great. Great feature. Don't get me wrong. Um, however, <laughs> I have a tendency to like set it off with just my hand. Like, I, I'm not trying to, it just kind of, like, happens when I'm resting my hand on my iPad. It's really annoying, because sometimes I won't notice, and it will undo, and then I'll, like, zoom out of my project, and I'll look at it, and I'm like, I definitely put a line there. And it, and it will be like, <laughs> you didn't, though. And I'm like, I did, though. Where'd it go? And it would be because... Um, it undid it and I didn't notice, so I couldn't undo the, the undo, if that makes any sense at all. 
Um, and so then I just have to redraw it. And it's a very minor problem, I'm aware. Very minor, minor inconvenient thing, but it's still annoying. And, um, I'm sure there's a way to disable it, but I do not know what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, his legs are gonna have pants, huh? Oops. Spending all this time on this part of him, and it's gonna be covered. Oh well. It's really helpful for anatomy if you draw what's underneath the clothes as well as the clothes, because it will just look better. But I don't know. I just spent like five minutes on a hand that I got rid of, so so maybe you shouldn't take advice from me. Still, still humming that song. Trying not to. It's obviously not working. I was so excited when that music video came out. I wasn't like waiting for it. I just saw it on TikTok and then I was like, what is this? And then I watched it and I was like, oh. But anyways, I was so excited. I was like, I had to send it to my mom. <laughs> I was like, mom, you'll never guess, look at this. And and I was like, send it to her because I was just so excited. Um, anyways, that was a fun conversation. She was like, what? And I was like, I'm sorry, but like, look at how cool this is. And it was really cool. And she liked it, which is so good. I'm so glad she liked it. Resizing, yay! See what I mean about the whole, like, I never get the proportions right? Anyways, the reason, I guess I should probably clarify, the reason I was so excited when I saw the new Paranoia video was because that is like exactly what I want to do on YouTube. It's like perfect. I want to make music videos like that. Um, and I know you're saying like blue, but you don't do that. <laughs> you're right, I don't, because I don't know how to yet. But I'm working on the, 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 the learning how, okay? That the part, it's coming. It's, it's coming slowly but surely. Um, I'm, I'm learning how to do that. And I'm really excited. Because, um, it just, it looks so cool. Oh my gosh. I hate it when my eraser's too big and my erase, like, all of it. I'm gonna make, like, this whole face bigger. I just feel like it needs to be bigger. Okay, I need to start drawing his clothing. <laughs> okay, so first off is his hair, which isn't really gonna be much of anything because he has a hood on. Like so. Right? Okay. But he is gonna have his little razor bangs, which I have to look like look at what they look like. It's very they just stick up. They're like, they're kind of like this. <laughs> Razor's bangs stick up literally everywhere. It's very cute, it's very bed heady. There's a reason I've been a Razor main since the game came out. Which is, fun fact, when I started playing, I played Genshin when it came out, so. I don't act like it, that's for sure. <laughs> um, I am not skilled at all. I don't look like it, but I, I did. I played it when it first came out, but, um, yeah, I kinda, I'm one of those, I'm like somehow both a casual gamer and a, like a completionist. I play very casually and I don't really, um, you know, I don't like grind for things, but then on the other hand, I want everything. I want like all the characters and stuff and like all, and I want them all leveled up and all that fun stuff. So. Somehow I've managed to put myself in a spot where I want to complete everything and have everything, but I play like once a week and I just am like, 
I do dailies and I wish sometimes and all that fun stuff. So I, I don't know what I'm expecting to happen, but oh well. Um, oh goodness, I did not realize that I put that line through his ear. It's okay. It's his hood, so it would cover his ear. Um, okay. I don't really know what's going- Ow! <laughs> I have a cut on my pinky and I just hit it. Anyways, um, I don't really know what's going on with this whole cape thing. Um, to be honest, I don't- I don't really know what's- yeah, that's kind of the end of the sentence. I think I'm gonna turn it into, like, a vest. Yeah, I mean, it's not really Shinso or Razor, but I don't really know how to draw this, and that's a dangerous thing. <laughs> or, actually, I have a better idea. I'm just gonna not connect these because they're not connected in the picture. What was I thinking? Um, I was thinking, I just wasn't looking at the picture. So I think it's kind of like a vest, or like, um, a jacket? And then his hood, oh, um, yeah, my iPad's been doing that lately, I don't know what's wrong with it. Just kind of like makes random lines now. It thinks I'm trying to put my pen way over there and I'm not. I don't know if you guys can hear my computer fighting for its life in the background, but that's what that is. So this would, I think, Something like that. And it would like go like that. See what I mean about the random lines? It's really annoying. Hmm. Don't like the shape of the hood. I feel like I can do better than that. I'm feeling very, it feels very Assassin's Creed-y. <laughs> um, and then his hair needs to come out. Razor's hair is very long. I wish. I wish I had long hair like that. I do not. I also wish it was that color. Razor is just hair goals for me. And then I would want his jacket to kind of like pull over here. There. Okay. Alright Razor, you're, you're in the way now. Um, okay. So now we need Shinso's like scarf thing. I feel like that's gonna get too busy. Let's put his pants. Let's put his pants on first and then think about it. Pants, wrinkle. He's just in regular sneakers, so... a little bit more like that, I guess. I don't really know how to describe that. Um, Shinto's sneakers were really just like very plain regular sneakers you would see any high school wear. It's high schooler wear, Jesus. 
I don't know. I'm not in high school anymore, so maybe I'm making that up. I feel like it hasn't changed that much since I've been in high school. I just noticed my VTuber was just sitting there with his mouth open. My bad, guys. Sorry. I'm looking down right now. I'm concentrating very hard. just need to make like wrinkly so that sounded really weird but it's true his pants are just kind of baggy line that just appeared? My goodness. Maybe I should get a new Apple Pencil. I'm gonna make this part a little bigger. Oh my goodness. Now my eraser is doing it too. Great! I'm gonna fix that. to draw his shoe. Oh my goodness. Um, anyways. I'm gonna just keep going. Ignore that. shoes. I should probably practice, but I have so much to practice. I really try to practice everything I'm bad at, but sometimes I'm, I like feel like I'm, I'm bad at like so many things that I just like don't even know where to start because I'm like, oh, I want to draw landscapes. I want to draw hands. I want to draw feet. I want to draw shoes. All of the stuff. But then I'm like, oh, I can't draw all that stuff because I'm bad at it. And then I'm like, oh, well, then I should practice. And then I'm like, but what do I practice? That's so many things that have nothing to do with each other. How do I even go about that? And I don't know how to move on from there. <laughs> so I definitely do practice when I can, but I'm, I probably should practice more. I, well, what I really need to do is I need to look at references. I don't really do the whole reference thing, and it's not because you shouldn't, because you really should. Please do use references. They're very important. Um, but I just, I don't know, I just like being able to just like not have another th thing to look at. I just like being able to just draw. Um, so that might be part of it. But if you are an artist or you want to start art, don't do what I do. Use references. I promise, it's, it's not like cheating or anything. It's actually really good. I just made his hair a little fluffier because I just felt it needed it. And I feel like there needs to be a little fluff here too. Perfect, okay. I still need to add his Shinso elements. So I feel like Um, like here? Sort of? Yeah, I 
think that works. Um, I'm just gonna draw like a bunch of lines, which essentially is what art is. It's just drawing a bunch of lines. Because I think, I think I should add his voice changer in there somewhere. I can use it to cover his mouth. I think I'll try that. This is kind of why I try to have a design before I start filming because, um, or like at least like an idea of one, because this is what happens. But today was just not a good design day and that's okay. That is a-okay. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, I should probably erase, oh, I'm on the wrong layer. Um, okay, so his mask is kind of like, wait, hold on, this is kind of stupid. I have a picture of it right here. Oh, well that's a really bad picture of it, great. So from my understanding, it's kind of like this like hexagon-y thing over here, and then it goes down. It's very angular. I believe it's something like that. Erase, erase. Yeah, that looks much better. Okay. Oops, I got rid of the angular part of it after I just said it was angular. That's not a hexagon. Over, there we go. Did you see how big my eraser was to get that tiny little dot? That was kind of, that was a little silly. I don't 100% know what this part of it looks like, but I'm just gonna kind of guess. I also know there's like a vent right here. because his voice needs to like get out of it. That doesn't look good at all. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to look up a different reference to make this look more like Shinzo's mask. But I think, I think this is good though. I think, I think we'll end it there. Cause I mean, I'll clean it up obviously. And I'll add the hand because I couldn't do the hand today. <laughs> And I'll put some more details in his mask after I look up a better reference for it. But I think this is a this is what we, we got. Um, yeah. Cool. <sighs> okay. Anyways, geez, sorry that was a really long one. Um, it, it didn't help that I didn't like my des my design at first. I mean, I liked it, but like I didn't do a good job showing it. So, but you know, you win some, you lose some. I've had some really good ones so far, so it was kind of inevitable that I had a, a dud, I guess, for lack of a better term. But anyways, um, I will clean this up and color it, and it will be on my Instagram probably sometime next week, um, if you're curious and interested and want to see where this goes. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of all I got for today, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, and I hope it wasn't too long for you. I have no idea how long it's going to be, and I'm scared to look at the timestamp, but because I feel like it's going to be long, I'll make this quick. Uh, I will be streaming, let's see, tonight, right here on YouTube with an art stream. I'll be coloring a, a realistic, so if you are curious how I color my realism stuff, you should stop by. Um, but if that's not your thing and you want to see me play like some games or something I will be having a twitch stream on Friday and Fridays are group game stream nights So basically I get all my friends together and we play a game all together on stream and it's a lot of fun I usually yell at them, but that's okay because if you can't yell at your friends. Are they really your friends? <laughs> Don't listen to me Anyways, um, so yeah, if that's more your speed Friday 
is a good time, but if you want just art stuff, to tonight, it's tomorrow for me. I film my videos a day in advance, so it's tomorrow, but for you guys, it's tonight. Um, that will be happening, so you should stop by. Um, but if not, and you just want to stick to the videos, or I don't know, some just live streams or anything, that's totally fine. Another video will be coming out in a few days. <laughs> I think it will be some highlights from my streams, so if you're like curious what the streams are but you don't want to like commit to a full one, I'll be making like a compilation of, a, of like just moments from stream, and uh, yeah, I think that would that would be a good, good, good time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Uh, sorry that this video is so long, um, but anyways, yeah, uh, this will be up later, and um, hopefully you come by for a stream, I hope. If not, again, that's okay, but you should, it's a lot of fun. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.